Hi, second and third graders. Hi, I'm Miss Dietz, and I teach second grade at Graham Hill Elementary, which is in Southeast Seattle. And we're gonna spend uh, three lessons together this week talking about coins. I'm going to teach you a game, and then I am going to read you a story and give you a riddle to solve, and then we will uh, do a quick image to wrap things up. You're gonna need a piece of paper and something to write with for this lesson. So if you don't have that with you, go ahead and go get that right now. Since we're gonna be talking about coins, I thought we should remember what we know about them. The four coins we're going to be talking about today, I have some plastic coins, they're not real coins, is the penny. The penny is worth that's right, one cent. It's the only brown one, so that one's easy to spot. One penny is worth one cent. And then we have a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. A nickel is worth five cents. Then we have the dime. The dime is worth 10 cents. It's the smallest one, but it's worth 10 cents. And then the biggest coin we have is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Sometimes it's easy to get a quarter and a nickel confused. They kind of look alike. So it's easy to get them mixed up. They both have faces, heads on the, on the front. But the quarter is just a little bit bigger than the nickel. So if you can remember that the quarter is bigger and it's worth more. The quarter is 25 cents and the nickel is five cents. The other way to tell them apart is by looking at the back. The quarter has an eagle and the nickel has a building on it. So we're gonna use these coins today. Speaking of nickels, we're gonna play a game called uh, Dimes and Nickels. And for this game, you're going to need a dice. You can use this kind with the dots, or if you have the kind that has the numbers on it, that's fine too. If you don't have a dice, I'll show you what you can do. Instead of using a dice, you can take a piece of paper and you can write the numbers one through six on it. like that. And then I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to rip it and make them into six separate pieces of paper. So now I'm going to tear it. So now I have each number on a piece of paper on its own piece of paper. Fold those in half and put them in a bowl. Now instead of rolling the dice, you can choose a number without looking and I got number six. So if you don't have a dice, you can use the bowl method. To play this game, you need two to four players. And don't worry, if you don't have anyone to play with, you can pretend to play with a stuffed animal, or maybe you can pretend to play with a pet. I've got my pet right here. This is Happy. Happy is sitting on my lap while I read a story. Yes, hi Happy. Say hi to the kids. Happy's gonna play this game with me. So it's me versus Happy. And the name of this game is Nickel and Dime. And the goal is to be the, be the closest to a dollar after seven turns. So to play, you need to have a piece of paper to, to keep score with. And I'm gonna write my name and Happy's name across the top. that and then I'm going to write one through seven down the side 
because you're going to have seven turns. Like that. All right, once you have that done and you have your dice or your bowl of numbers, whichever method you're using, you're ready to start. So I'm gonna switch the camera over and show you the table so you can watch me play happy and see who's gonna win, me or happy. Happy says he's gonna win, but I don't believe him. I think I'm gonna win. Okay, I have what I need now to play this game. I have my pad of paper with my name and Happy's name on it, and I've numbered it one through seven down the side, and then I have my dice. So the goal of this game is to get as closest to a dollar as I can without going over in seven turns. And how much is a dollar? How many cents is a dollar? That's right, a dollar is 100 cents. You can write 100 cents or you can write one dollar. 100 cents is my goal. And I'm gonna do that by rolling the dice. Each time I roll the dice, I need to decide, do I want this to be worth pennies, nickels, or dimes? So for instance, if I roll the dice and got a three, I would think to myself, do I want this to be three pennies? Do I want this to be three nickels? Or do I want this to be three dimes? If it were three dimes I chose, how much would that be worth? What would we count by? That's right, we'd count by 10. 10, 20, 30. If it were nickels, what would I count by? Yep, five cents. Five, 10, 15. Or if I chose pennies, what would I count by? That's right, ones. So this would be worth three cents. So we have to make sure that we get as close to 100 or $1 as we can without going over, and we have to use all of our seven turns. So let's start. I'll go first and Happy will go second. Ooh, I got a six. Hmm. I'm thinking if I chose dimes, that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's almost, that's really like over half of a dollar. And I don't want to get that close to a dollar so early in the game. because I don't think I'm gonna choose dimes. But I don't wanna choose pennies either because pennies is too small. That would only be six cents. I think I'll go with nickels. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So my first roll is 30 cents. All right, let's see what Happy gets. Ooh, he got a five. What does Happy wanna use? Hmm, I think Happy is telling me he wants to use nickels. So let's count that, count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents for Happy. All right, now it's my turn. Two, hmm, that's a small number. I think I might wanna use dimes for that. 10, 20. So I'm gonna add 20 cents to the 30 cents I already have. Three tens plus two tens is how many tens? That's right, five tens. So now I'm at 50 cents. Wow, I'm 50 cents is half of a dollar and I'm only on my second turn. I think I might wanna slow down. I still have a lot of turns left and I don't wanna go over a dollar. Let's see what Happy gets. Three. Happy is thinking he wants to stick with nickels. Five, 10, 15. So Happy is going to add 15 cents to his. Now we need to add what is 25 plus 15. Well, I know that five plus five makes a 10. And then I already have two tens and this 10. So I have two tens plus this 10 is, one 10 is three tens plus five plus five. That makes four, another 10. So it's a total of four tens, 40 cents. Okay, let's see what I get. I got a five. I really think I need to slow down because I'm adding up too fast. So I'm gonna do five pennies. Five pennies is five cents. I'm going to add five cents. 50 plus five is 
55 cents. Oh, Happy got two. Hmm. Shh. Happy, what do you want to do? Do you want to do dimes or nickels? He's saying he's sticking with nickels because nickels have been good for him. So let's do five, ten. Forty plus ten is, that's right, fifty cents. Okay, now it's my turn. I have one, two, three, I have four more turns. Ooh, six. Hmm, I definitely don't want to do dimes because that would be 60 cents and that would be too much. I would go over 100. If I did nickels, that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hmm, that still feels like that would be too big. So I'm going to do pennies. Six pennies is six cents. What is 55 plus six? I could put 55 in my head and count on 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. I am now at 61 cents. Happy, what are you going to get? Ooh, he got a four. Hmm. What do you think, Happy? If he did dimes, that would be 40 cents, and 50 plus 40 is 90. I think that's too big. What about nickels? 5, 10, 15, 20? 50 plus 20? What do you think, Happy? No? You want to do pennies? Okay. All right. Happy says pennies. So four pennies is four cents. 50 plus four is 54 cents. All right. Ooh, I got a four. Hmm. Okay. Now I need to stop and think because I only have this turn and plus two more turns left. Four. If I, I definitely don't want to do dimes. That's going to make it too big. If I did nickels, 5, 10, 15, 20. That would put me at 81 cents. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to I'm going to use nickels. 5, 10, 15, 20. So 61 cents plus 20 cents. 61, 71, 81. Did you notice how I counted by tens there to figure that out? All right. Let's see what happy gets. 5. What do you think, Happy? Definitely not dimes. That would make it, you would be over a dollar if you did dimes because that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's do, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. You want to do that? Yeah, okay. Happy's going to add 25 cents. Hmm, let's see. This is kind of tricky. How can we solve this? Well, 5, ones and four ones is how much nine ones yep and then 50 plus 20 is 70. oh so happy is now at 79 cents one hmm let's think about this i wonder if i should use that as a dime if i used one dime that would be 10 cents and that would get me to 91 cents, and then I would have one more turn, and I could use my last turn as pennies, maybe, if I needed to. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say 10 cents. 81 plus 10 is 91. 91 cents. Oh, I think I'm gonna win, Happy. Happy got two. What do you wanna do, Happy? Do you wanna do dimes? Huh, well, if you did dimes, that'd be 10, 20. 79 plus 20 would be 79, 89, 99. Ooh, that feels like it's too big. You better do nickels, Happy. You agree? Okay, so let's add 5, 10. Okay, 10 cents. 79 plus 10 is 89 cents. We're really close. How much more do I have than Happy? Happy is at 89, 90, 91. So I have two more cents than Happy does. Three. All right. So this is my last turn, and it's three cents, or three dots. Do I want to do three cents, three pennies, or do I want to do nickels, five, 10, 15? Oh, no, 15 is way too big because that would put me over. So I have to do pennies. I'm going to do three cents. 
91 plus 3, 91, 92, 93, 94. 94 cents. So that's my total. 94 cents. All right. This is the last one. Let's see who's going to win. Is it going to be me or Happy? One. Oh, <laughs> Happy. You're so lucky. You got a one. Do you know what that means? Yeah, you do know what it means, don't you? Yeah, you know that it means you're going to do one dime. One ten cents. Because 89 plus 10 is 99 cents. Uh, I thought I was going to win, but who won? Happy did. Happy is the winner. Congratulations, Happy. That was a fun game. I hope you guys will play that at home. And congratulations to Happy for being the winner. He's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Okay, well, now that we've learned our game, we're going to switch to a story. And this story is about Alexander. And you might already know Alexander. Do you recognize him? That's Alexander from Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Do you know that book? Yeah, I love that book. It's one of my favorites, actually. This is called Alexander who used to be rich last Sunday. And Alexander, just like in the other book, Alexander's gonna run into some problems in this book. And we're going to see what happens. By the way, I need you to know a vocab word for this. In this book, it talks about something called bus tokens. There is that word right there, bus tokens. We don't really use bus tokens in Seattle and um, what they are is they're, they look like coins, but they're not money. They, all they're good for is a ride on the bus. So if you have a bus token and you get on the bus and it's the kind of bus that takes bus tokens, you would drop the bus token into the machine and then you would get to ride the bus. So keep that in mind because you're gonna hear that word bus tokens as I read this story. All right, let's start. Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday, by Judith Vorst. It isn't fair that my brother Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. Wow, that sounds like a lot of money. Do you think you could figure out how much money that is? Let's read that again. Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. Pennies. It isn't fair that my brother Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and 13 pennies. Sounds like both brothers have a lot of money. How much does Nicholas have? I'll read that again. Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and 13 pennies. If you're interested in solving that to figure out how much Nicholas has, you can write that down on your piece of paper. It isn't fair because what I've got is bus tokens. And most of the time, what I've mostly got is bus tokens. And even when I'm very rich, I know that pretty soon what I'll have is bus tokens. I know because I used to be rich last Sunday. Last Sunday, Grandma Betty and Grandpa Louie came to visit from New Jersey. They brought locks because my father likes to eat locks. They brought plants because my brother likes to grow plants. They brought a dollar for me, a dollar for Nick, and a dollar for Anthony because, mom says it isn't nice to say this, we like money a lot, especially me. Have you ever gotten money as a gift from someone? What did you buy with it? I wonder what Alexander's gonna buy with it. My father told me to put the dollar away to pay for college. He was kidding. Anthony told me to use the dollar to go downtown to a store and buy a new face. Anthony stinks. I'm not 
sure that was a very nice thing to say. Nikki said to take the dollar and bury it in the garden and in a week, a dollar tree would grow. Ha, ha, ha. Mom said, if I really want to buy a walkie talkie, save my money. Saving is hard. Because last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I went to Pearson's drugstore and got bubble gum. And after the gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And after that gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And even though I told my friend David I'd sell him all the gum in my mouth, ew, for a nickel, he still wouldn't buy it. Goodbye, 15 cents. Hmm. Sounds like Alexander is wishing he hadn't spent all that money on gum. Let's stop here for now. What do you think he's going to spend the rest of his money on? We'll find out next time when I continue the story in our next lesson. But for now, I have a riddle for you. A riddle is a puzzle that you can work on to solve. Alexander has six coins in his pocket. Six coins. You can hear them jingle. And they are worth 37 cents. Alexander has six coins and they are worth 37 cents. The question is, what coins does Alexander have in his pocket? So you think about that. Write this riddle down so you can remember. He has six coins in his pocket and they're worth 37 cents. What coins does he have? Does he have a quarter? Does he have a nickel? Does he have some dimes? What about some pennies? What coins does he have in his pocket? Solve that riddle and I'll tell you the answer the next time I see you. But for now, we're gonna get up and we're gonna do a movement break. So everybody stand up. Okay, everybody standing up, ready to move? We gotta get our bodies moving and get our brain flowing up to our brain. So let's do some shoulder rolls. Let's do, um, let's do 50, but counting by five. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Whew, that feels good. All right, now let's do some arm circles but let's go do a hundred, counting by 10. Ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Whew, that feels good, feels good to move. Maybe you need to do a little bit of a wiggle to get any more energy out. And now we're going to do a quick image. So let's sit back down and get ready to turn our brains on. Okay, we're gonna do a quick image and you need to really make sure you're paying attention for this. You might also wanna use your piece of paper and pencil for this too, in case you wanna jot anything down. I'm gonna show you some coins, but I'm only gonna let you see them for about mm, three seconds. And then you have to think, what did I just see? And how much are those coins worth? So not just how many coins you saw, but what is it worth? So it's a little bit extra tricky. So get your mind ready, get your pencils ready. If you need to jot anything down, I'm gonna show you my coins, but you're only gonna see them for three seconds, and then I'm gonna cover them back up. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna show you these coins, and you're gonna tell me how much money do I have. Remember, you only have three seconds. All right, ready? Here you go. All right, what did you see? Think about it. Maybe even draw a picture of what you saw or write down numbers. Do you need a second look? Okay, I'll give you a second look. Here you go, three more seconds. Ready, go. All right, now think about what you saw and then in a moment, we're gonna take a look and see if you are right. Are you ready? Okay. 
Let's take a final look. Mm. I see pennies, they're all pennies, and we know that pennies are worth one cent. So I also notice that they're in groups. I see a group here, a group here, a group here, and a group here. I see four groups. How many pennies are in each group? Yeah, that's right, there's five. It looks like the dice. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So how can I figure out how many pennies are here without counting by ones? That's right, we could count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. I have 20 pennies. How much money is that? That's right, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 cents. So that is our warm up one. Now I'm gonna do one that's a little bit harder. Okay, are you ready to see the second one? Okay, I'm gonna give you a warning. This one isn't just pennies. This one also has nickels. So keep that in mind. You get three seconds to look. Don't try to count it by ones. Instead, try to see what groups you see. Ready? Here you go. Okay, stop and think. What did you see? How many coins did you see? How many nickels? How many pennies? Turn and tell somebody what you just saw. Do you need a second look? Okay, here's your second look. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Okay, take one last thought about it. Think to yourself, how many nickels did I see and how many pennies? How much is that worth? If you need to jot, jot it down on a piece of paper. All right, let's take one last look. What did we see? I see that it's in groups of five again, because here's those five pennies I recognize from last one. Here's five pennies. Here's another group of five and another group of five, but these are nickels. How much are nickels worth? That's right, five cents. So how much is this worth all together? I know this is worth five cents, but this isn't gonna be worth five cents because only one nickel is worth five cents. How much is this group gonna be worth? I can think to myself, I know how to count by fives. I can count by fives to figure out how much is in this group. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, hmm. So if this group is worth 25 cents, how much is this worth, group worth? That's right, 25 cents. So we have 25 plus 25 plus five. Hmm, how can we figure that out? Maybe you'll think to yourself, 25 plus 25 is 50, and 50 plus five is 55. Or maybe you'll count them like this, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. All right, so this one was worth 55 cents. Well done. Wanna do one more? Okay, are you ready for the last one? I'm gonna give you a hint about this one. This one has three different kinds of coins in it. It has a dime also, which is worth, that's right, 10 cents. So I'm gonna give you three seconds, get your brain ready, eyes ready. Okay, here we go. All right, think about what you saw. Maybe you're gonna jot it down. How many dimes did you see? How many nickels? How many pennies? Do you want a second look? Okay, here it is. Ready, set, go. Okay, take a moment to figure that out because what I want to know is how much money do I have? All right, ready to look, get your final look? Okay, here it is. All right, what do we see? I see groups of five again, 
but this time they're different coins. Here's our pennies, here's our nickels, but here we have a, have a group of dimes. So let's figure this out. Which one should we start with? I kind of think we should start with the dimes, don't you? Because the dimes are worth the most. Dimes are worth 10 cents and we have five dimes here. So how much is that? You might be thinking to yourself, well, I know that five tens is the same thing as 50. So we have 50 cents. Or maybe you're gonna count it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So here we have 50 cents. How much do we have here? Do we remember? We have five nickels. Each nickel is worth five cents. Five, five times, or five times five is, that's right, 25 cents. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. So we have 50 cents, 25 cents, and right, five cents. How much is that all together, I wonder? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing some of you say you think it is 80 cents. Do we agree? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. You're right, we have 80 cents. Well, we had fun today doing math, didn't we? And what we learned today is that we know the values of our coins. We know a penny is one cent, a nickel is five cents, a dime is 10 cents, and a quarter is 25 cents. And we know that we can add up our coins by counting by fives and tens and ones. So thanks for doing math with me today. It was really fun. We'll be back later this week and I'll read you more of Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday. I'll tell you the answer to the riddle. Six coins, 37 cents in Alexander's pocket. What coins does he have? And I know that you are really missing your friends and your teachers and your school, and they are missing you. And we are hoping to be back in school soon. But until then, we'll keep seeing each other through video. So take care. Don't forget to wash your hands. And I will see you next time.